financial accounting. We're talking about the income statement and stockholders' equity, and we're also talking about stock dividends and stock splits. So let's take a look at stock splits. Now, there is no journal entry when a stock splits. Instead, there's just a memo. So, for example, if we have a 241 stock split, that means after the stock splits, instead of having one share of stock, you'll have two shares of stock. If you have a 341 stock split, you're right, we'll have three shares of stock instead of one share of stock. Now you're saying, why would a company do this? Well, generally companies split their stock when the stock's market price um, gets to the high of their trade range. So for example, historically IBM stock, when it gets up to about 200, it splits. Why does it split? Because it gets too expensive for folks to buy one share of stock. By splitting the stock, what happens to the stock price if it's a two for one? The stock drops to half of its market price. That way it makes it more affordable for folks to buy it. Now you're saying, well, then nobody would buy it. They buy it and the stock does what? Goes right back up again. So a stock split is a great thing if you own some shares of stock. So let's look at how we handle this. Uh, in exercise 12, it says that on January 15th, the board of directors declares a 3 for 1 stock split of its $12 par value. So before the split, the par value is 12. And it says there's 1.6 million shares authorized, but only 400,000 shares are outstanding. When we do a stock split, it's only the outstanding shares. So there's 400,000 shares. Now, before the stock split, we know that the balance in the common stock account would be the 400,000 shares times $12, which happens to be $4.8 million. So $4.8 million. Now, if we have a three-for-one stock split, here's how it works. Dear Diary, today we had a three-for-one stock split. That means I'm going to divide by three the par value. So the par value is going to be cut by, uh, so it's going to be only $4 afterwards because three times four is 12. And the number of shares outstanding, we're going to multiply by three because it was a three for one. So three times 400,000 is 1,200,000 shares. Now, if I took four times 1.2 million shares, do I get the same balance in my common stock account, 4.8 million? And I do. And that is why there's no journal entry, because the balance in common stock doesn't change. It's just the innards, the par value, and the shares outstanding are altered by the split. So three for one, now you know how to handle it.